Uh, I just want to tell you something that you may not be aware of, but you have the capability to save someone's life and you don't even know it. I mean, I don't mean by changing someone's life. I mean, literally save someone from death. You probably remember me, guys. You guys probably remember me saying this before, but you can speak to a person in a way that gives them courage to fight off their demons. And that in turn uh, will save that person from eternal damnation. This can be done. Yes, it can be done. And some of you are actually aware of this, that you can actually do this. You can save someone's life and you just actively choose not to. Um, probably because you're dealing with your own struggles and you don't really know how to handle uh, uh, your problems and things that life throws at you. So, you know, you have more than you're more than capable of helping someone else with their issues. And it seems simple enough for you to do, but yet you refuse to do it out of selfishness. Um, and these type of people, uh, uh, these pe these type of people end up suffering a horrible fate. Uh, they were too selfish their whole life. You know, at their time of death, they are being forced to reflect on those all those times they could have helped someone and they refused to do so. I remember this one time uh, I went up to the Sunoco gas station, right? I used to always go there before I head out to work. Um, I would go there and I would pick up some drinks and some snacks, um, you know, for my lunch. Um, and there was this guy who was standing outside of the store panhandling. He used to be out there all the time. And there's one, there's one particular night, he asked me, he said, hey man, do you have 50 cent or a dollar? Uh, I'm trying to get a blunt. And I looked at him and I said, just like that, huh? You're going to give up. I said, bro, don't let them do that to you. I said, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You're going to let them win? You're a coward. Without me even explaining anything to him, this guy knew exactly what I was talking about, bro. And the reason why he knew what I was talking about was because I knew what he was going through. With that place where he was in life, I had been there before. I know how it feels to be in that place. I know exactly what it feels like, man. When you come from a family uh, that treats you so poorly that it almost feels like it doesn't matter how you live your life. These, because these are the type of people uh, you can pass out and be on the brink of death and you'll be up in a hospital and yeah, they'll come and visit you and check on you and see if you're okay. But once you get out of that hospital, uh, they will go right back to treating you poorly as they just as, like they did before. Nothing will change. And the reason why is because even though they came to the hospital to check on you, they were secretly hoping you would die. That way they could show up at a funeral talking about how great of a person you were. But they would never speak like this to you while you were alive. This guy I saw standing out there, I knew, I already knew what he was going through. I knew right away, bro. 
I said, bro, I said, it's not going to be worth it at the end of the day, man. You might as well just go home. And I walked into the store, like how I planned to do. And guess what? When I came back out of the store, that guy was gone, bro. Never saw him outside that store ever again. This guy used to be out there every night. Because I forgot to mention, before I walked in the store, I had asked him, I said, do you, I said, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? He said, yeah. He said, I do. And when I kid you not, when I came back out of the store, that guy wasn't there anymore. I never saw him out there again. True story, man. You can speak to someone, man, in a way that can actually save their life, man. That some of us actually need us. Some, sometimes we need someone to say the right thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? We don't always, we don't just simply need someone to lend us an ear and hear us out, man. Sometimes we need to do the listening ourselves. Even if you're, we're hard-headed, sometimes some of us are hard-headed people, man. But even, even those type of people know uh, when it's time to shut up and listen, bro. Uh, because things are getting worse. It doesn't seem to be getting any better. These things that I'm doing so far doesn't seem to work. I have to try something else, but I don't know what else to do. Uh, I, I need some suggestions. I need a, I need someone to help me understand who's been through this before because I've never been through this and I don't know how to handle this. We all reach that point sometimes, man. If you're going to be arrogant and act like you know everything, man, then you're just going to die a horrible death. You'll die without, without ever accomplishing anything. You are too stuck on yourself. I'm telling you, man. God showed me a visions of people that I actually care about getting dropped down into the abyss because of arrogance. I kid you not, bro. God shows me things that people don't know about, that about, man. Seriously. He showed me a lot of things, man. People started wondering how and why did I change so much, man. We're not already told them. This is what I mean when I say sometimes um, I don't try to insult people. But when I say people are spiritually dumb, believe me, I'm not trying to insult people, bro. You know what I mean? They, they're literally, but they are literally dumb. Because if I already answered your question, why would you ask me again? You know, people be wanting to know what inspired so much change in me. Why did I change so much? And I would tell them, well... God showed me a vision of hell and what it's, what it's like to actually be in that place. And that person would think, well, hell isn't real. So you're lying. I'm lying. So you think I'm lying about why I change my ways. But the way I change, how much I change doesn't make sense to you. From a logical standpoint, I seem like an entirely different person to you. But you don't believe the reason why that I've given you. So guess what? I have nothing else to say to you. I'm not in the mood to entertain you. I'm not a jester. I have the mindset of a king. I don't have the mindset of a jester. That's where you're failing to realize. I'm not trying to insult you. I'm telling you the truth. 
You outright called me a liar. That was crazy. How am I supposed to feel if you call me a liar? So, yeah, of course I'm going to think you're dumb. I'm not trying to insult you. You must be dumb. Because if I you want to know what inspired the change in me, and I already told you more than once, and you still don't want to believe, you're, you're actively refusing to believe it as if you were there when these things were happening to me. I'm telling you, man. In my particular situation, who saved my life in my particular situation was the Most High himself. The Most High intervened personally and pulled me out of that abyss. Because I was sinking fast, man. I didn't know what was going on in my life anymore. It, it seemed like even my girlfriend didn't care about me the way she was supposed to, man. She would just out of nowhere tell me she don't want to speak to me ever again, and I haven't even done anything to her. <laughs> and yet, you seem to think you could just come back in my life all of a sudden like you never left. Nah. I was on the brink of death, yo. Literally, I was in the hospital, man. God be showing me visions of hell, man. And you can't, when I came up out of there, everybody knows how different I was. I already told you why I was different, man. I don't ever want to experience that place ever again in history. Never want to go to that place again. I don't have a choice but to change my ways. I'm not making this up. I'm not crazy either. What's crazy is how you have the ability to save someone's life and you refuse to do it. You see this person's dying, man. You can see someone dying of thirst. This person needs water, bro. And you have you actually have water and you're not going to give them a drink. You're evil. I started it. He even showed me what type of person you are. He didn't just show me visions of hell. He even showed me who you are. I kid you not. He showed me just how damn evil you are. I would never want to date you again. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Uh, that, that evil spirit has to go. Even if you do get rid of that evil spirit, it doesn't mean I'm the right guy for you. You have to focus on your life and your spiritual path. Whatever God sent you here to do, that's what you need to be focused on. You're paying too much attention to me. When you, Like I said before, you wasn't there when I went through these things. You don't know what I currently go through either. I have to do this. Uh, I have to follow the most highest instructions on my own. I cannot depend on you for that. So with that being said, everybody, man, yo, y'all know what to do, yo. Y'all know what to do, man. Stop wasting time. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? You're more than capable of doing this. And yet you don't want to. Why would I want to be friends with you? Really think about it. Why would I want to be friends with you? If I'm seeing you treat others like this, what would make me think that you wouldn't treat me like this and I've already been treated badly by you before? <laughs> you think I, you, I, do you really think I'm that stupid? No, it's not me who's stupid, it's you. I, if you think I'm stupid and I think you're dumb, there you go. That's what I meant to say. You think I'm stupid and I think you're dumb. At some point, we're going to have to come to some agreement. Or we can agree to disagree. 
it doesn't matter at the end of the day. As long as you stay on your path, the righteous path, the narrow path. Do not stray off that path even for a minute. Because there's something out there waiting for you. I can promise you that, man. They're always watching. They're waiting for an opportune moment to swoop down like an eagle. It's time to wisen up, people. Yeah, I have much love for you, man, but I don't love that demon that's in you. Yeah, that's all I have to say for now. Peace out. Later.